we are live. Do you see us live, Angie? All right. Yep, we got it. Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, B Plus, all things window film. We're here with Jared and Cody Becker of uh, Shore Tint. Uh, it's my extreme pleasure to have both of them on on our first uh, podcast uh, in the history. So, uh, welcome, guys. Welcome. Yeah. You <clears throat> So, Jared, question for you. How is it working with your son? Yeah, right. I have two. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like that's the age of mine, right? No, no, I don't mean to say that. You know what? Uh, Steven, we call him Biggin. He's the older one, so he's the Biggin, right? Uh, he's a pleasure to, to work with. Yeah. Cody, you like working with your dad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to have all the fun. And on the hot days, you got to squirt each other with the hose, all that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. You know, um, a lot of people don't have that blessing of their. I lost my mic, Angie. Okay. All right. H hang on just a second. Because they can't hear them. Okay. Okay. So, technology, but not to worry. We have Angie here with us. Okay. Right. Yeah. So technology, but not to worry. We yeah, we got it. How's that? Are we, we're better off now. We still have good within us. Yeah. Evidently, people on uh, TV land can't hear us. Uh oh, okay. <clears throat> Nobody wants to hear a one sided conversation. Bear with us on this technical difficulty. You might as well get something to eat, Jared. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, you're... Yeah, got to get those chicken strips. Yeah, wow. Yeah, timing is good. But uh well, you're you're beating it though, huh? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. We're, they're still trying here. It says Skype is muted.
Yeah. 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 Hey, this is awesome. And I'd rather go through it with nobody but you guys because, you know, uh, you guys are friendly, you know, and I, I tell you, the first time doing this, uh, I, I was looking for, this, well, you guys were a no brainer. I mean, you guys are killing it. Okay. We're having fun with it. You got to have fun with what you do. Oh. If you can smile and laugh and enjoy it, it makes it so much easier. Yeah. It's, and you'll kill it even more if you have fun with it. Yep. Then it's not a job. Then it's no. not a job. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about how you treat things. That's right. That's right. I'm hoping that uh, it we're coming through. We get to be the guinea pigs. Just think of that. We're uh, the first ones on the moon. Now we're the first ones doing the po uh, podcast. Uh huh. So. Yeah, you right. could have picked two better looking guys for this. I That's mean, right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> And the most patient. Yeah. Well, I've gotten the thumbs up now. I think we're we're well on our way. Awesome. Hey, I saw you guys in Window Film Magazine as film stars. Man, that is awesome. You know, being publicized uh, in, in our industry publication. And, you know, tell me a little bit about how that, how about that, how that interview went, you know, Go ahead. Say, just like uh, with anything, it's we're so busy going in so many different directions. Right. I actually think I did the interview while driving to a dealership that we were working on. And but I say, she was awesome. They just uh, got the whole rundown of what we do and how we started, who we are. And it was fun. I was about to say, the interview process was the easiest. I uh, say, the waiting was the hardest thing for me. I just want to see it already. Right. Want, every other day, I'm checking the website. I'm looking. I'm like, man, is it up? Is it up yet? And I've been waiting. And I say, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. It's um, been a long time coming for me. I've been doing this since '89, so. Yeah. It only took me a year to get in, so. <laughs> yeah, well, we know where the talent lies, right? Yeah, it's it's the stupid beard, man. Everybody loves these guys with beards. I yeah. don't get it. Yeah. But they thought he was Luke Combs when they started interviewing him. That's what it was. <laughs> you ever get that's a, beard hairs in your uh, window tent? Oh, yeah, just the other day, actually. Yeah, it Every does Every once in a while, I got to peel back and flush it, you know, but yeah. <laughs> I don't. No? I need to wear a beard net, and it'll be another thing they can pick on me with, you know? Right, yeah. Give them <laughs> the another. best thing about I'll tell you, the best thing about it is everybody thinks he's older than me. So when they come up to us, I say, he's the boss. Just go bother him. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah. You know, he's the old guy. Go to Cody. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> he owns the business. Hey, boss, you're up. Yeah. yeah, he wants a discount. There you go, Cody. Go talk to him, boss man. <laughs> Sad part is he's not lying at all. <laughs> this is true. Well, that's what it's about. Pass the torch and pass the buck, right? Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Got to. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. You guys are doing some big buildings, too, huh? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about your flat glass. What are you finding the most uh, beneficial, you know, way of marketing your flat glass? It's it's always been word of mouth. I've, I've been doing this since 89. And I'm so rooted in this area that we're in all the schools, we're in our local hospitals, you know, we just, the biggest thing is you got to keep letting, reminding them that you're there. You got to remind them that they need your product and let them know about new products and just always keep on the tip of their tongue. Yeah. And what we've been blessed with is they're, they're doing a lot of renovating here on schools and in the hospitals because what's our demographic has changed over the past few years where we're having a lot of retirees come in because we're a tax-free state. So our, our demographic used to be a college party town, which you know as well as I do, there's no money in that except for cars. Right. Now it's $500,000 up homes where people are retiring from Jersey, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. So we've, we've changed our angle over, I'd say, probably the past six years yeah. just to, to pinpoint those, those customers that have the money that want to fix up the houses before they retire and give their kids the, the go with the house or before they pass away and they just want to, you know, make sure everything's right for the family. Mm -hmm. 
But we, we've been, you know, it's crazy. If you look at market trends, things like EDDMs, the mailers, don't work in 90% of the markets because people just throw them away. Right. Here, it's all retirees. It, it's We're killing it with EDDMs. We, we get like a 60% ROI on our It's It's our crazy, EDDMs. yeah. <laughs> I say it's astonishing what we get with it. Yeah, run with it. Run with it. Yeah, you got to follow not only your, you know, your marketing strategies, but you really got to take a good look at the people you're marketing to and what are they comfortable with? What are I, they used to? What do they understand? And I'll tell you, it's we've been we've been blowing it away. I mean, we're doing jobs. We did one school with 980 pieces of glass. You know, just it's awesome. Yeah. We're having fun with it. The high school I went to. I have been able to work on the college I went to. I sold the biggest job we ever had at that time. It's it's fun. And we got blessed with some of our contractors that we went with. Uh, three buildings for J.P. Morgan Chase, a big bank. Yeah. And we, we got involved with and we got to play with. Well, they're, they're call centers. Yeah, they're call centers. They're located in, yeah. in Delaware, too, because it's tax-free and it's cheap to incorporate here. Nice. Yeah. So we so, got to play with some fun stuff. With the contractors, staying in touch is key. Oh, yeah. yeah, you got to keep reminding them. The architects, you have to get in front of them. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. You know, I, I find I find it's really a, invaluable. Every contractor, every point of contact, every super on the jobs um, that I share my contact and, and I text in uh, when I share my contact on my phone, I text uh, save my contact to your phone for any future needs. You know, oh, yeah. I start typing that in, and my phone p starts populating all those words for me. It's it's amazing. You know, we, we put together um, an Excel spreadsheet. We have over eighteen thousand contacts, name, addresses, phone numbers, just from years and years and years of dealing with everybody, just keeping all that information. And that's where I think programs like like we've changed this year, like TintWiz. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that, it's phenomenal. It's a game changer because it, it puts everything on the platform where we need it. You know, we can market can to who we need this. to market to. We know our analytics. We know our leads are coming in from our website. How and just everything about it's just been good. The, with the changes we've made with products like Colvio and TintWiz over the past year alone have just boosted the game. As long as it builds the excitement for you, that's even a game changer, isn't it? It is. It wakes Ooh. me back up because I'll tell you, it was dull for years. Yeah. You know, there was no camaraderie between shops. No. Uh, down here, it was uh, one for all and all for one. And nobody really. Now we're bouncing things off other shops. We're talking to each other. I've I've got one of my uh, what was local competitor now wants to work with us on projects and sub things out. And it's just been cool. It's it's been awesome. Yeah, that's the way to do it. You know, as as a distributor, I was a little reluctant to want to set up anyone near me as the cool view dealer in, in, in my market. Well, it was the best thing I did. You know, uh, Jesse up at Tint with, or excuse me, up at uh, Tint Works in Bentonville, um, that young man's on fire like you guys. And, you know, the power of both of us marketing, you know, it, it really helps. And um, the camaraderie is is a thing that you know, was missing for many years, like you say. And, and being in the window film business kind of burned me out. I'm thinking, why does everybody hate each other? But yeah. it's really turning around now. And that's what it needs to be because it puts us all in a better mindset. And who wins? The I think I think we allowed the, the public too, to, to dictate who we were for too many years. Mm -hmm. Because in their head, and what I mean by that, in their head, every time they think of window tint, they think drug dealer. Right. <laughs> they don't think of fading floors in your home. They don't think of reducing heat. They they think of drug dealer. They think of that stupid kid driving up and down the road at two in the morning with a stereo going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and his windows are all limited up. That's all they can see. I've had so many people, and I've been doing this since eighty nine, well over thirty years. So many people say, Well, what do you do for a real job? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> fourteen hours a day and the one I'm working right now isn't a it's real not job. <laughs> Yeah. I remember yeah. my dad asking me, when are you going to get a real job? Yeah. yeah. My dad was a state trooper. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, New Jersey State Police. And he was so upset with me because I didn't follow in his footsteps and I didn't go to the police academy. I kept saying, I'm too short. I'm too, I can't do the test. I can't do, you know, I'm too slow. I don't want to. But in reality, I, I didn't want to get shot at. Right. You know? 
Yeah. It just, it, it, there was no respect for law enforcement. And I said, yeah, I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. And then it got to a point where I was making more than both my mother and father put together in just a few months. And my dad said, you know what? You're right. You did good. I'm proud of you. Yeah. And, you know, those are the, that's what means everything. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Make your mom proud. That's all yeah. I strive for here is to make my mom proud. You know, I wake up every day and I just want to do well. You know, I want to look good to mom, you know, good old mom. <laughs> And yeah. it's it's a shame that philosophy, something so simple, you know, treat people the way you want your mother treated. It's just gone in humanity these days. People just don't, they don't know the simple things. Yeah. And it, it's a shame. But we're trying to, you know, what we do, I, I love hearing customers say, you know what, your son is just, he's killer. He's awesome. He comes in professional. He's, you know, he's so knowledgeable about the products. Seeing the fire in him, it's waking me back up too. Yeah. And the lights are on, his, his eyes are bright, he's after it. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you show up late? Oh, all the time. <laughs> oh, know. man. He's an all-nighter, but not a morning person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a nighter all day long. <laughs> yeah. Morning, nah, not so much. <laughs> you know, you... I, I enjoy the technology. When I first started with him, like officially really going at it, you know, I've been doing this since I was 10 years old with him, but since I really started installing... I really got involved. Uh, we were doing paper and pencil and, you know, tape measure. Now we're doing, we walk in with a tablet to a consultation. We walk in with a tablet, a, a FLIR camera to th uh, show thermal. We walk in with technology and it's fun. I love being able to show the customer that, hey, yeah, your blinds are blocking a lot, but it's going right around the case. It's going right in your room. And I say, there's a lot going on that you don't know. And I love being able to show that to the customer. Yeah. I love being able to please them and help them. And it makes me feel good. It's fun. Mm -hmm. And he's a good BSer. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> he, he loves to hear himself talk. It's awesome. <laughs> you know, yeah. People don't understand about heat, which direction it goes. You know, unless it's unless it's uh, going to be changed by force or pressures like wind, um, hot chases cold. So when that heat gets in the window and gets trapped behind the blind, it's not going to move back towards the hottest thing. It's going to go to the coldest thing it can find. Yep. If we if we literally take a you know a desk size ice cube and set it in one end of the house, we can watch the breeze. If you hold a candle up, the breeze will be moving. Okay, towards that candle. Hot air chases cold. So once that heats in the house and it's behind the blind, it's coming in. That's the direction it wants to go. Yep. Yeah, you gotta stop it before it comes in. Yep. Yes, you gotta stop the heat at the glass. You know, it's tough. People people really don't understand window film, and I think the education process is what he loves the most, because you know you can see the little lights going off in her head. Oh my God, you can stop the fading of my floors, or oh my God, it really does that. It, it can work this way. It's cool. It's neat. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, you you were talking about technology. I something I saw something on Facebook today. Uh, they were uh, on tint whiz. They were breaking down different categories and pulling metrics. I mean, where is this going to stop? Eric's killing it, you know, yeah. the, w with all that he's building into tint whiz for us. You know, we're, we're just starting our quest uh, to get tint whiz savvy. But what experience have you guys had that's been a big game changer? Every problem whiz? we have that with the program that we bring to Eric, he says, it'll be out next week. I thought about that two months ago. Yeah. We're working on it right now. He's I've six never, steps ahead. I've yeah. never met somebody so on point in my life. He's He knows his product. Other than me. Yeah. <laughs> he knows his product. He knows what he's doing. And, and, you know, he's listening, which is a big thing that a lot of companies don't know how to do. He's listening to the end user. It's not the customers that we're, we're marketing to. It's us, the companies that are buying it. The end users, you know, recommending things, and he's already got it. He's already there. He's like, you know what? I thought about that, or thanks for your input. And even if he didn't think about it, he implements it. Right. And it, it seems like he really pushes everybody around him to to strive for success. To be I mean, better. He's just he's bettering everybody, yep. not just the industry with his product, but he helped us off his product to help get us better Google reviews. 
Right. You know, go, I mean, he showed us how to do things that, you know, I've never had Matico, Colview, nobody that nobody got involved in that part of it. They always just, you know, a lot of the distributors that I dealt with over the years and not call out names or nothing, but it was always just you ordered a film. Here it is. Thank you. Right. I can't wait to your next order. Right. And, you know, Eric's just, you know what? The better you are, the better my product's going to work and the happier everybody's going to be and more people are going to use it. And I, I wish some of the window film distributors and reps would watch his take his stance and, and understand that. You know, getting getting these guys educated on marketing in their area, getting them educated on um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it when you uh, shit? Go figure. I drop it. When when uh, SEO. co-op, yeah, co-op in uh, advertisements. Yep. You know, different things where they can better their market and still you know make money and make more money for the companies. I, I, it all just benefits us. Well, it just it, seems like education's been lost. Yeah. That, and and with his product, it's there. And, you know, when when you think about when, I, I don't know if it's true for you, but where I made my transition is when I stopped calling around and finding out how much everybody else is charging. And I did, I, I just started deciding, just be Bob. Just do Bob's game. Okay. Yep. And, we're the most expensive in the area. Yeah, right. You know why? Because we're worth it. And that that forward thinking just put me on a path of what I knew I wanted to do. And whether Eric is listening to to what we want, remember most of it he's already got thought out, and it's, it's coming in two weeks. Yeah. Um, so he's already, you know, he's not even just fulfilling our wishes, but he's thinking ahead uh, on his own, doing his game and. Yeah it is fulfilling a lot of things for us. I mean, it's really up in our game for the whole industry. Yeah. And, and there was a couple other products that were out there before his, that we played CRM programs Sure. that, you know, we played with service monitors. There's a few of them, but they're so difficult. To oh. They're so time consuming and so frustrating when you can't get them. And there's no support on the other end. Like I got service monster. You know, for we also own a window cleaning business. Yeah. I opened up a sister company called Clean View Window Cleaning. Uh-huh. I figured why not market the 18,000 that I told you earlier, customers that we already have, and get them on package deals where we can go out and clean their house. We get them on service contracts. Why not? Well, not clean their house, but clean their windows. Right. Why not offer that as a side to what I have now? You know, they, they both kind of work together. And everybody said, what are you going to do about maintenance of the windows? How do you get... A 70-year-old person to go up and clean those windows. Well, we all for that. But, you know, we ran Service Monster for that. I just dumped that. We're going to Tent Whiz for that. Right. Yeah, you it can adapt. It just makes sense. Yeah. yeah. You can adapt it. I plan to be uh, uh, adopting it to my uh, defense light into my business as well. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you, I've been I've been smacking that display left and right for J.P. Morgan and a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. I mean, it's yeah. the security option that works, right? It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you know, Ultra and our security films, they certainly have their place. You know, I mean, man, security films have been around a long time. As a matter of fact, it's what I started with in 81 was security film. I didn't tint solar control for about 10 years. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, security film's a great product when used right, um, anchored. And now some guys are, you know, installing on the exterior and anchoring it to, or we're learning how to use the product and, and get it to do its, uh, you know, its best. Okay. But, um, yeah, defense light, man, that's something else. And yeah, yeah. I just love handing the the customer, the hammer. I keep right in my display box. Yep, yep. Yep, same right. here. <laughs> and then, and then I tell them, I say, hit it, you know, hit it harder. <laughs> You know, it, uh, yeah, it sells. I, we had our grand opening for our business during the middle of this pandemic, and uh, we had close to 500 people show up, and we didn't have a single headache with the whole COVID thing, and I'll tell you why. Because I had two mayors, I had a local senator, I had a White House correspondent who's also um, in our county here. I had a bunch of different people politically come in, and nobody bothered them. So if they didn't bother them, they weren't bothering us. But, you know, while they were doing the testimonials about me as a company, 
I'm making them whack the thing and I'm showing them the defense like demo and I'm whacking it. And, you know, we need that for when we rebuild the police station. We need that for when we. <laughs> yeah, the courthouse. The yeah, courthouse, yeah. yeah. Yep. So, yeah, we had two mayors there, and re- they got projects in the works, and now they're trying to figure out how to work this in and get us in with the architects so it can be built into them. Because you know what they love about the product? It doesn't look like an armory. Right. You don't look like you're in a jail cell. Right. It, it just flows with the building. Yes, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I yep. mean, and, and when you anchor film, and when, even when you're as good as you can get, right, I mean, sometimes that can look clunky. You know, yeah. but this is seamless. You don't even know it's there unless you know it's there. Yep. yep. It's yeah. clean. Very Simple. clean. And then it has the, the tear off sheet if it ever gets messed up. Yeah. Then it looks brand new again. Yeah. 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 We it's uh, definitely a good product. Yeah. We're 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 proud to to offer it ourselves. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> so um what's your big why? For window tinting, I mean, what gets you up in the morning? What? I thought you were gonna say, why did I even start? I ask myself every day. <laughs> How did you start? Uh, I, I I was about fourteen years old, and I rode my bike. I rode a thick twelve speed back then, down to a local tin shop. I thought it was cool. The guy was working on cars, and that's right. what I wanted to do. Yeah. If I'd have thought I'd still be doing this crap 30 years later, I might have turned that bike around. <laughs> <laughs> I actually went to college for heavy equipment, got my CDL the whole nine yards, and said, you know what? I don't want to be a fat guy on a bulldozer with hemorrhoids. So right. I went down to that shop every day, and uh, eventually he ended up needing money because he had some issues on the side, and I, I bought into the business, and... Uh, yeah, that's I inherited a little bit back in the day, and it wasn't much, but you know, I gave him a few thousand, bought in, bought my spot in, and here I am. Yeah, yeah, you know? loving it. Loving he it. took all the money, skipped town, and went to Florida, and and just booked on me. And in the middle of it, I just stopped that name and picked up my own name and figured, you know what? If I would have had to learn how to do it, I would have paid more in college. So right. it was a learning curve. I just ran with it, and here I am. Mm-hmm. Um, so you guys are you guys are killing it, uh, both automotively and flat glass. I don't suppose you do it all yourselves. Uh, um, short tint. How many employees do you do you have on staff? It fluctuates. We've had up to six. Yeah. And right now we've got just two killer guys that are just phenomenal. Yeah. And we we couldn't be prouder of our our new guys. And they've just recently onboarded with us. And so far, they've just been awesome. They've been great. You know, but it's amazing. You're, you're never done. Never you, done. You know, I, I'm, I'm always shooting. And the one thing I always tell Cody is, you know, you just don't settle. We watch everybody around us just settle over these years. And you just you just can't settle. You just got to keep moving forward until, you know, you can't move forward. All right. T- today, I had one of my installers. He left his, uh, cause it, because of Tint Whiz. Yeah, because of Tint Whiz. <laughs> he left his cell phone in uh, a customer's car. And the customer just happened to live about half hour, 40 minutes away from the business. So I drove to the customer's house to grab his iPhone 11 and whatever yeah. it was to go grab his phone. I went and picked it up. And I started asking the customer, are there any tin shops here? You drove 40 minutes to us. And he said, there's not a single one around. And this was a market that's got boats, that's got beautiful homes, that's got, you know, all spectrums from, look, and I said, you know what? You even take lessons like that. A stupid 40-minute drive for a phone now tells me where I need to put another location. Right, right. Well, you've and got I, you, two. He had, what, six, seven people drive over 40 minutes to us. Yep. And you just, you can't take, you know, the negatives and and just harp on the negatives you got to turn them into positives that's right so that that drive gave me a a completely different demographic and a look on a new location you know a a different shop yeah so now i gotta now ask it about employees now i gotta try to find (laughs) somewhere when when you look for employees are you looking for you know trained talent or or are you looking for person personality skill uh you know good-hearted people what what is it that you go for i mean are you gonna if you're gonna just open up immediately you're gonna need you know an trained installer over there but 
what what is your well, angle? I'm sick of the drug addicts. Thank you. Because there's been plenty of those. That's yeah. just getting monotonous. You know, uh, work ethic. Show up. Yes. Uh, yeah, we're willing to teach and work with people as long as they're willing to learn with us. Right. You know, and it seems like anymore they people just have their hand out. They want to get paid. They don't want to work. Mm -hmm. And we seem to find those people because we're we're a little bit too nice. You know, and that's not a good trait for a business owner to be too nice. Well, so, is is it? And I that's mean, well, that's where the father son thing comes in because we play good cop bad cop. Okay. You yep. know, Cody's nice to him, and then I come in and fix it. Yeah. And then walk back out and go to the other shop. I can kind of, you know, he could work with them all day. I can come in and say, hey, this is the way it's got to be. Take it or leave it. Right. You know, and, and I could be the hard guy when I need to be. Yeah. So that's that's a good thing about having a father son is he doesn't even need to say anything to me. And I know exactly what he wants just by his mannerisms and the way he looks. It, it's pretty cool. So when it comes to employees, if they get too comfortable with one, we switch it out. Right. You know, we can always switch it up. But so far, it seems like, you know, we the past few had years, even, yeah. yeah, the past few years, it's been it's been good. We got lucky. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're blessed. And our market, like I said, it's a retiree community. So there's, you know, up until a few years ago, we were in a, not a dead market, but we're at a beach. So all summer long, it's killer. And then in the winter, every, everybody went home. Mm -hmm. They close up their houses, their beach houses are closed. They go home. Right. Now, now they're becoming more full-time year-round mm -hmm. residents. And it's, it's changing. So finding employees because we're recruiting people from out of town has been getting a little bit better too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, just good moral status. If you're willing to work, we're willing to work with you. Right. You know, we don't mind training people. We don't mind standing, you know, I don't mind standing over somebody helping them. I have no problem with that. But if I tell you to be there at nine, don't show up at noon. Right. Right. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, I had uh, one girl working for us a while back who uh, was pulling out a, or backing out a customer's brand new BMW. Mm. And she backed this into the next door neighbor's vehicle at the same time. Uh, you know, thousands of dollars worth of damage. Our customer, believe it or not, this is how people around here like us so much. Our customer actually paid for their tent job that day. I refused for them not to. This girl did thousands of dollars worth of damage. And the woman said, I, I've had eight cars done. I know you're good. Let me just take care of it. I know you'll have it finished. And fine. Brand new BMW. Thousands of dollars worth of damage. You know, those are the kinds of people that we've been getting. And, you know, she was on her phone. She wasn't paying attention. Everything's on camera. You know, so it's just, yeah, it's a new age of uh, of people. It, it really is. So it's a learning curve for us, too. Yeah, right, right. Well, that's where Cody comes in, too, because, you know, um, when you talk about, you know, can we be too nice? You know, there's been a lot of talk recent years about culture, business culture, and uh, having a family within your workplace, you know, a secondary family. And, and that's what these millennials gravitate towards is, you know, um, that they want to feel part of something bigger and they, they want to want to be here. Um, we might see them as, you know, they don't want to work. But a lot of them just almost don't know how to get along with us rusty old dogs. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I've got even a better one. I've got, uh, you know, it's not just us. We also have my wife involved mm -hmm. in the business. And she helps out a lot. And she's by far the meanest one. Even Cody's afraid of her. And she's she's a princess. She's beautiful. She's, she's awesome. But she's been a corrections officer for 12 years. Yikes. So, yeah, she she pulls those panties up, and trust me, you don't cross her. Right. <laughs> She'll put you in your place real quick. <laughs> she was the married version of Miss Delaware for, what, three years? Yeah. And, you know, so she knows how to wear that uh, that crown. <laughs> but when it comes to it, it's just, you know, I, I can get Ashley on him if we're too nice. She she seems to pick up on the thing we don't, too. So. Yeah. You know, and it's a team. It's a team effort. We all work together. We all feed off each other and we all grow. And it's just it's been good. Yeah. It's you know, when, when you have multiple people that that you can count on for their insight, you know, uh, family, 
um, or people you trust that have become an extended family and, and you bring in someone new, you almost don't even need to see them. Like you're saying, Jared, you can, you can just kind of tune into your own team to see if, yeah. if they're fitting in. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's our responsibility if they're not fitting in where we're at, you know, we, we want to help them be fit in wherever they can fit yep. in time. And, and you always have to treat it like a business too, not a hobby. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these guys, they treat it like a hobby. Uh, you know, we're an S corp. I take a paycheck. Yeah, me that's, too. That's what we do. You know, it's a business. It's not, you know, the backyard mechanic where you show up when you want. No, we run it like a business. Yeah. And if you have that mentality and, you know, when I hire new people, I don't say, hey, you work for me. No, it's all we work together. We're a group that's working together to achieve the same goal. Yeah. You know, and we're all going to benefit off that goal. We're all going to work together and build it up. So I think it's also the mentality you put out there, the the image you put out there with your employees as you're hiring them, and it's not um, it's not as strict as hey, this is this is what you have to do right now. This is what you know. It, this is the common goal. We ha- we set you know amounts, totals, of what we like to hit a week, weekly goals, monthly goals. Those are the directions you want to go in, and you know, and build them up. Bring people with you. Not just run in front of them. Transparency. That's right. Yeah. Keep yep. it easy, simple. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. Cody, you've been a little quiet. I, I, there's something I wanted to ask you. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> and, and this is new, by the way. Nobody ever gets to see me on any of the podcasts. Yeah. Well, so I, and they don't see me over talking to Big yeah. Mouth here. This is all new. Eric's <laughs> probably wondering what's going on because he doesn't know this part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we're we're happy to have you. Yeah. So ahead, I've heard I've heard oh, something thank, thank about I've that. heard something about the Delaware uh, what is this D- death Delaware now now death look squad? this is the David Farley special okay uh huh him and uh, my buddy Hoss kind of you know came up with it uh-huh. apparently we're the Delaware Death Squad you know yes so we're going to be representing you know little old Delaware and we're coming for that crown we're going to take uh, take uh, the Texas squeegee on. Yeah, are you gonna, gonna go? Do are, are you gonna go through the North Carolina team to get there, or I'm not worried about them. Oh, uh, okay. I, I'm worried about David, man. He he's getting old. He's Is gonna he? throw a hip out or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't worried about Mister Clean and the Wizard. No, okay. I've been calling a horse Mister Clean. Well, you, you know? know, you know, in June that they're having that big tin, uh, tinners uh, battles. I guess Tinner Battles 2021. Yeah, I just heard about that. I was talking to a uh, Dave Dillinger probably an hour ago. Yeah. About it. I, I didn't know it was in June. So we have what that in June. Then we have the other competition in July. Well, now we'll what, say, comp- what competition? Which one's the Orlando one? Orlando is the IWFA, but June 12th is the Tinters Battles. Yeah, yeah. With, with I say Texas I'm going to both of them, yep. in Orlando and the Tenors Battle. Right. So I'll have one a month, right? Right. And, <laughs> and that's all for charity, you know. I think that's great. Yeah. There's four teams going right now, but you, I hear you're you're dead set on just plowing right on in there. You're oh dra- yeah, that, I'm telling you, they need, they have a flat glass uh, heat. And we're owning it, but we're coming in for the automotive too. We're gonna have some fun. Yeah, good deal. Uh, so they get to show them what's up. Uh huh. Yeah, we're going to have a, a great podcast next week talking a little more about that. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. If you can uh, send me the dates after this, uh, I'll make sure it's in my tent whiz. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> there you sure go. We got it. Right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, so if you uh, had any <laughs> advice, if you had any advice for a brand new dealer, okay? okay. What would what would what would it be? Run like hell. <laughs> Amen. Right. Some of them are Don't just so back, dead. Just go. <laughs> go to college. <laughs> these new business owners, these new tent guys that are coming in, they're not taking no for an answer. No, they, they're not. They're not. I've got some awesome. guys that are just out cold calling. You know, corporate accounts already. You know, lending big corporate accounts. You know, decorative films, and they're going after. I've got a new gentleman that's uh, he's going after uh, John Deere and all the tractors. 
uh, well, they they like the transitional film, you know, so they can be working yeah. hard in the day and then at, uh, at night or in the mornings they can see out better. Um, yeah, some of these new guys on the block, they're not going to take no for an answer, you know, and, and they reach out to me a lot and just say, you know, what do you got? What do you got? What kind of advice? And of course, I can get in the trenches and and I can, you know, go and look at their their showroom or, or, or do those basic things but viewpoint is there is there any mindset that you think uh we could pass along to a new dealer that would help there's two different mindsets here you have the go-getter yes and then you have me the one who's watched the go-getter grow up and that's all i do is work and i feel like i missed out a lot on his youth so you know you just gotta always remember family too right you know, you, gotta, you have to balance both. I don't know if this is going to convey, but here, I'll see if this will show up here on the screen. Can you see that? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's Cody in my shop working. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, he never left the shop. That's him in the shop constantly. You know, family was always with us. Family was always there. <laughs> and now I've got my four-year-old son wearing a little tool belt trying to tint windows with daddy. You know, just uh, I think if I can say anything in cancer, I just went through a battle with cancer here with thyroid cancer. And uh, if I can say anything, it makes you think a little bit about family, too. Money's great. Business is great. But, you know, they grow up quick. Amen. You know, Amen. hug them, love them. Don't forget about them. Yeah. Because you, know, you don't want them forgetting about you. It seems like these days, uh, you know, with Facebook and dating and all these apps and things you can do. We lose track of who who is our biggest supporters. Right. And, you know, we leave our wives home while we're out working. Right. We leave, you know, family behind. Yeah, there, there's just think of that, too. Keep that in the back of your mind. Go get it. Don't get me wrong. But make sure you have somebody who's going to support you and, and push you just as much as you push them. You know, I like thinking of it as be where your feet are. Yeah. Be where your feet are. And when you get off work, you know leave that at work sure i mean there's a lot we can be doing at home don't get me wrong and i'm never one to steal somebody's thunder or drive or ambition but try to be where your feet are and when when you're at home love your family you know i have grandkids now and you know they're a lot of energy okay they're a lot of energy and, and i have to regrip and and try to be patient with them over and over sometimes multiple times in a given night when we're babysitting, you know, um, but, uh, and, and our son, when he's out doing, uh, road work, you know, cause we'll travel, we'll travel. And right now, like I say, he's in Tallahassee. Okay. He's doing a job down there. Um, so, you know, we had the kids one night and his, uh, girl had to have the kids now and, and, and they can be a handful, but you got to just try to be where your feet are. So that's, that specialness ha has a chance to come out. Otherwise, we're just little bitches. Otherwise, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? How yeah. you let the system run you and yeah, yeah. We, I, th I think another good fact too, another thing to keep that would help with uh, new guys. We we picked up a product this year called Ring Central, and what it, it's a VoIP system, and what that VoIP system allows us to do is not give our customers our cell phone numbers. And it actually allows us to mark ourselves as busy or do not disturb. And, you know, there's there's a time when you go on a vacation or you're with your family, you know, you can transfer the phone calls to another team member or you can just mark it. Do not disturb because I'm with my, you know, my wife, I'm with my father, I'm fishing, you know, take that time. It, it really means a lot because you never know when it's going to be gone. But that ring central thing's neat because, you know, you give out your cell phone number. And you don't realize you're sitting on the couch answering Facebook messages, answering things at 11 o'clock at night with your wife sitting next to you going, is that more important than me? What's more important here? So, you know, as, an, as a father, as an, as an adult looking at it a little bit differently than the young guys here, you know, <laughs> he'll sit up all damn night long and answer Facebook messages because he has nothing better to do but talk to Eric. You know? <laughs> but when it comes to... Uh, yeah, when it comes to family, don't forget about it. You know, find the things that are going to work for you. 
Stop giving your cell phone number out. Get a, get a VoIP system. It's like 30, 40 hours a month. It's simple. It's easy. It shows you your analytics so you know when people are calling. You know when to market, when not to market. You know when to send people to lunch or not. I can tell you what the busiest time of the day, busiest day of the week How is. How many phone calls we get, everything. We're, we're getting ready to go seven days a week. We're going to actually run seven days a week, but we're going to do a shift. He's, he works one yeah. weekend. I work the next, you know. We have different employees. We schedule it out. We do it the right way. Yeah. But, you know, I don't want to live the life every day. I want to be able to watch my four-year-old grow up a little bit, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's a good I, that's good advice, that ring central. So you don't hand out your cell phone number anymore. You have a different number that you memorize or put on your that contact. So that, when you that share, comes with it. Yeah, I, I have a business card specifically with that number. Nice. So I have rep cards. Mm -hmm. so, and yeah. then you could literally just go right on the app and hit I'm busy, period. It, it gives you that option, which is just, it's nice when it comes to family. Yeah, yeah. That is, that's great advice. See, and I'm the opposite. I'll work till midnight on the computer, on Facebook. I, I Don't get me wrong. I'll get there at 9 o'clock in the morning, but I'm not getting there much earlier. I, I am not a morning guy. But I will work till 9 in the morning the next day. I, I love nighttime. I'm constantly on Google looking up the next best thing, finding the next best thing. SEO, Google, emails, responding to emails, talking to people. I, I don't stop at nighttime. Yeah. And I'm the one that will keep working like an idiot. But it's fun to me. I no, enjoy it right now. So I don't think that's being an idiot, Cody. I think that's that I think that's going after it. Going after what you love, you know what I mean? Just feel blessed that you have that drive in you because so many people don't have a reason. They don't I have a reason. Them. Yeah, there you go. You know we did that. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um any last uh, parting thoughts that you'd like to share with us? No, I'm glad. I'm glad Colview upgraded the boxes. They look awesome. They do yeah. look awesome, and they help a lot. Yeah, the box they're, is a tool. Yeah, you know? it is. They're sturdier. They're more supporting. They got that cool measuring uh, device on there for your quick flat glass goes. That's right, splitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was nothing like bringing in. Um, uh, a five-piece box taped together <laughs> for an eight-thousand-hour transitional job. <laughs> yeah, and well, you know, cutting, yeah, cutting down the rolls for 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 uh, you know where the boxes didn't fit. Hey, you know, there's a whole lot to uh, to running a a film business, and and gosh, the boxes are just a great a great addition. They really are. Yeah, the, the upgrade, it looks good. It, and they look great. I like the little tape measure on the side, too. That's yeah. a unique feature. We're, we're old school. We cut right out of the box for 80% yeah. of the jobs we do. Yeah. We don't bring the film handler all the time. It's just quicker for us to cut out the box. Right. Five, 600 square foot, I'm bringing the box. I got like an idiot. <laughs> I bought a 72-inch film handler. That thing's too heavy. It's stupid. <laughs> oh, but when you're doing decorative film, it, oh, they yeah, come yeah. in handy. Uh, we we did the job with uh, 980 individual uh, six inch by six inch squares on a block wall that was curved. Oh, and it's in all different colors. It, it just it looks like a kaleidoscope. We actually brought our plotters right to the school. Yeah, and cut them right on spot. We would set all, it up and all the true divided windows we do. Bring a plotter, make it an inlay. Boom, you're done. Yeah. Uh, so easy. We brought it to a customer's house one time. We had 380 squares to do. Yeah. We set up in our garage, brought the plotter, cut it out for what six hours or something like that. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, once you get it set up and going, it was. It's I was easy. Been there working. He's cutting and weeding. Saving, I mean, it was simple. Yeah, saving your knees a lot too, because when you're cutting out of a box, you're down on your knees six hundred and eighty yep. times. I yep. know. I've been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those film handlers, they're they're worth their weight in gold, really. But you got to have a job for it, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that tape measure on the box is is outstanding. Yep. It's the little things. It is the little things. Yep. <laughs> well, no, it, um, it's mm -hmm. it's fun and we're we're looking forward to this next year with everything or this year, I guess, with everything starting to open up and pick up and 
you know, all the different changes we've made with the different products and vendors. And I, I think this next year or two is going to be pretty good. It's only up from here. Yeah. Yeah. 20 and 2020. Did you have a good year? Yeah. We well, just, yeah. just under half a million pushing sales and, you know, it, and we were shut down. Yeah. I was about to say we had our biggest year or our biggest November ever. I heard that from a lot of guys. Yeah. I heard it from a lot of guys. That they had People were year. bored. They're home fixing their houses up. So we were, you know, we were doing flat glass like you wouldn't believe. Well, and regardless of whatever it is, we're coming into 2020, 2021 with that same feeling that it's going to be a bigger year than even 2020. So that that's exciting. You know, this is the time for growth. This is the time, Cody, to stay in there till nine o'clock. If you don't have dinner waiting on you, you know, <laughs> this this is the time. Yeah. Get a Get a financial advisor, take some of this money and put it away. Do it the right way. That's yep. right. That's right. I like uh, Dave Ramsey. He, he, oh, yeah. Uh? <laughs> yeah. Your house is the biggest. Uh, get that paid off. That's the. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Grow stock mutual funds. Yep. Debt free. Love we it. bought Carnival this year. We bought uh, when when we were sitting on money, when. Uh, Right when the pandemic hit and everything shut down and Carnival Cruise Lines was $7.80 a share. Mm. You know, so we bought a crap ton of Carnival Cruise Lines. Now it's $26 a share. Amen. And, and when they open up travel, uh, it was 70 before the pandemic. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. There's another business model. You just got to think smart. And I bought it through the S-Corp. So, you know, we run, it, run all the tax, everything right through the business. It's all it's an asset. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's uh, that's awesome. Yeah. I try to stay away from individual stocks. I always lose money on them. You know. Yeah. You just got to forward think. You know, keep moving forward. My, my mom used to tell me uh, reason why God put toes on the front of your feet so you keep moving forward. You don't go backwards. Yep. Yep. You know, take the ups and downs and just keep going. Yeah. This is awesome. This is the quietest Cody's been through any of these podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, Cody, Jared, I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you for coming on. Um, Sir. Uh, you know, for all you that are that were, that are listening and have brave to sit here all the way through um, this uh, this podcast is called B Plus. Um, all things window film. I, I, I try to bring people on stars like these two gentlemen here that, you know, just through us cutting up and shooting the shit that there might be some some nuggets that fall out of it. I've got a lot. I've been taking notes as we've been talking, um, you know, staying in touch with your contractors. OK, um, uh, your, you know, service contracts talking about when uh, washing windows Um just uh, a ring central. What a good nugget. Okay. Uh, these, Get to know these, your architects too. Oh, you know? right. Stay in touch with your architects. Yep. See, we love the window cleaning. It's relatively affordable to get into. And we think it's easier to find people, easier to train them. And they bounce off of each other. They work together. Window tint and window cleaning. It's, it's a crossover. You it's, know, that was something that we talked about um last week on eric's podcast and i was the only one that disagreed <laughs> well you know um i i think when you have the right viewpoint um you're on to something strong i don't believe half of us uh flat glass tinners have not thought about it okay mm -hmm. so if if you i mean it, they it's glass we clean glass you're leaving yep. a lot of dirty glass now some of the ways I used to wash windows for residential jobs was a way to, um, you know, just give better service for my window film customers. We would just do it be, as the right thing to do. But um, I think what Eric was talking about is, you know, um, taking your, your well-trained guys and putting them into a, yeah. a, okay, and you're smarter than that, okay? But at, at the same time, it's a good pool of people for you to bring in and train them that way and yep. think of that business of washing windows separately 
yeah, than, yeah. than what you're doing. I think, Jared, you said it's a separate business altogether. Is that right? So now yeah, LLC, it's a completely yeah. different. Completely uh, separate LLC. Yeah, completely different name, completely yeah, separate. Yeah. But the big thing about that, too, is if you have another tool, another, yeah, another asset for an employee who's on the verge of getting burned out and wants a break from things, you could say, hey, look, you know, take a step back, maybe go to the window cleaning company for a month. Yeah. It's a lot better than losing somebody. And the more that you, you know? can offer someone, the better. If you have more tools in your tool chest that you can use to help solve a customer's or a client's issue, the better. The better it makes you look at the company as a whole. Yeah, yeah. So how long have you guys been doing the window washing as an add-on service or separate business? Excuse me. We just started that this say. past year. Uh -huh. that, was, that was a pandemic idea. Yeah. And I was surprised at how fast it took off. <laughs> you know, now a lot of these guys too don't underprice your market. Don't think of we don't do storefronts because these guys are doing storefronts and they're getting fifty cents a, a you know square foot of glass. Oh, a pain. We're, Actually, they're getting fifty cents a pain. Yeah. A pain. And we're doing houses for five six hundred dollars. We're doing right. the water-fed boom pole systems. We've got the screen wash and scrub. We're doing. We're not just cleaning the glass. We're cleaning the frame, the trim, the whole nine yards. And the screen. You know, and it's just smarter than just approaching it as just the glass. We're cleaning that entire window unit, and we're knocking them out in two, three hours a house. I mean, these houses, 50 windows, and we're, we're rocking in and out with no problem. Mm -hmm. So technically we can do three four houses a day yep. mm -hmm. we try to book in the same community so we're not traveling all over the, the state so you keep them all right there in the neighborhood once you get one house you get them all and <laughs> when you're in there you say hey you know what i noticed your your floors are fading you should call our sister company and, and we recommend completely clear window film or low you know what i mean there's different products that you can once you're in you're in Right. Once they're happy with you, then you they work off each other, mm -hmm. and it's 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 just it seems easy. It, it just seems like an over. And you know what? You buy like the resin bags with um, the water fed boom pole systems. You got a thousand bucks into it. It's not much. Now, what about what about window screens? Taking the screens off is that a bitch? No, it's easy. And we have a screen scrub that we, we that's one of the angles. We tell them if you get the whole house done inside outside, we'll offer a free window. Uh, a screen, screen wash. We gotta take them off anyway. Which basically, <laughs> it's a unit that looks like a brush that you run the screens through, and it's water fed. It's and simple. It's bucks, easy. Right? Oh, yeah. You know, it's just a simple add-on, quick, easy, and it's you know, like I said, we're in a retirement area. Right. So that angle of the retirement community, if you're in with the window tinting, hey, I noticed your windows are dirty. Here's the card for our sister company. Simple. And the cool thing about it is all the quotes. We, you literally can do a quote in two minutes. You talk to the customer, you explain your services, you walk around the house and take pictures of the windows and keep it simple, small, medium, large, you know, and just walk right through it. And, you know, we're knocking quotes out with just a few pictures and everything is uh, COVID safe. Everything's outside, everything, you know, for the initial contact. It, it's, it was, it's been good with that. It's, and that's been a cash cow. That's all it is because there's very minimal overhead. Right, right. Well, and then the service contracts, they're repeat customers, and they yep. bring their own customers. And Everybody wants their windows washed, so you're saying uh, that customers will say, hey, Sally, yeah, these guys wash mine. And so you get Sally now, and she's just, you know, a captive audience for you to, like you say, see the, the faded floor or, you know, yep. in, any other reasons. Yeah. Well, Co-brand co everything, you know, your business cards. One side says short tent, the other side says clean view. You know, your your quote, sister company. I was about to say, every consultation I go on, I have clean view window cleaning in my book that I bring on. Mm -hmm. I have it right there and ready. It's just one of those things that I add on, and I don't force it, but I, I make it a thought to bring up right. and make it happen. And Eric, he actually, uh, this is another thing, completely outside of tent whiz, completely separate. Hey, you know, he, he recommended um, a designer who's just, she's been phenomenal for helping us with artwork and with uh, redoing our logo and doing things like you want to do the folders. Yeah. You know, so we have these folders where we can just put our service contracts right in there with it and say, by the way, here's the window tinting information you requested. And we also offer window cleaning. So you're handing both of them out at the same time. Yeah. Or, or here's a window cleaning 
quote. And by the way, we also offer window tinting, which might help you with your fading or yeah. heat rejection or flare. You know, they, they just work. They feed off each other. Well, that's it. It's, and it's simple. Yeah. Well, good, good. Um, that's another nugget. You know how to survive winters um, w with with that as an extra business or a way to bring in new talent that could learn how to handle a squeegee. And pretty soon, those people are skilled as well. And then you find yeah. leaders within that company. And pretty soon, and both are rocking. And it gives them goals to move forward in the other business. So, you know what? If I learn how to clean windows good and I learn how to talk to customers and present myself with the window cleaning business, maybe I'll get into the window tinting business with them. I have an opportunity to move up yeah. in, the, in the companies. It's It's been a no-brainer. Yeah, good. that that's, that's uh, again, another nugget. That is just outstanding. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, I thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, Jared. Congratulations on your health. And, thank you. And your family. You guys are sure killing it at Shore Tint and Clear View oh, Window clean, Washing. Clean View. Clean, clean View Window view. Cleaning. Clean yep. View. Yeah. Man, uh, thank you. And thank you for being on the first podcast that I've done. You know, you made, pioneers. It, you made it comfortable <laughs> for me. Yes, sir. Can't wait to move our, our brands, both of us moving up, working together. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Let's do it. That's right. Push cold view, push short tent, and let's let's make it happen this year. Amen. We've got a lot of good things coming down the line. Uh, so, And it's with good partners like you guys that make it all possible. Thank you, sir. Thank we you. We try. Okay, gentlemen. Cody, you can go back to eating your chicken. <laughs> okay. I, I've had it. I've had it that far out of reach for him. He's been staring at it. That's why his chair is Why do you think I'm leaning that way, you know? His foot's over there. I, I, I'd have been over there. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Take we care, appreciate fellas. your time. Thank you. Bye-bye now. All have a right. good night. See ya. Where are we at here? All right, I can't hang up. Can we? We're trying here. All right, I got it. I found it. You found right. it? Yep, I got it. Okay, See gentlemen. You, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night, guys. Right, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you very much. <laughs> no problem, boss. Okay, good night. Go. I couldn't.